said she be mine, mine your name. Fifty your name, said she be mine, mine your name. Said fifty your name, said she be mine, mine your name. Fifty your name, said she be mine, mine your name. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my 25th birthday vlog. Right now I'm actually on my way to pick up Kiana because we are going to Kate's Rand event. It's an event for Melanin Mapped and she's bringing black creators together. So normally I wouldn't be doing or going to any kind of event on the day of like um, my birthday thing because it's already a little bit hectic but Kate is my friend she's also coming to my party and I couldn't say no to her and I want to come and support her and I wasn't going to vlog I was just gonna do phone footage for like reels and stuff but I'm like no I gotta show my girl a little bit some love on my YouTube channel so we're gonna be vlogging a little bit today yeah so please bear with me this vlog might be a little bit hectic but it's my birthday so you have to watch it you just have to watch it well my birthday is not even today my birthday is tomorrow may 12th towards gang in the building today is may 11th today is the day of my actual dinner i'm on my way like i said i'm on my way to kiana's house she literally lives five minutes from me so i'm picking her up we're going to the event i just wanted to like introduce this part of the vlog so you guys know what's going on and you're not confused as to why i switched from my hair appointment to a brand event so let's go check out this event by melanin matt <laughs> Tiffany this way, Chelsea that way. Perfect. For group, as we eat our charcuterie, get something on your stomach, we're gonna converse amongst our groups and then come up with a question and then have a liaison from each group, answer the question and then just talk about it. This is all about transparency, so feel free to share. It's, it's all a safe about space. being a safe space for women of color. We just wanna thank you guys so much for coming oh, out. So let's go ahead and you know get into the creator's tea. getting a manager or an agent which was a great question because I know some people have representation some people don't and um, a lot of great points were made but I think the general one was like it depends on what season you're in so if you feel like you're ready for management you feel like it's worth it then it's worth getting some representation but if you feel like 
okay, I'm okay pitching on my own. I'm okay like negotiating my value and you can do both. But that's not, I think sometimes you're a creator, you just want to create. You don't want to have to like be on your computer emailing and finding and researching context and stuff like that. So I think it's it's about knowing where you are on your journey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's like, it's, it's true because we always get the short end of the stick, but it's like, are you positioning yourself to meet more influences? Mm -hmm. So Melanin Map is here to meet. More influence. I was just gonna say I wrote that question because I wanted to know everybody's uh, experience with working with managers. I've never had a manager or an agency because I like getting all my money. And I just wanted to know what y'all's experience has been like when you do offer a percentage. Do you feel like they're giving you work that balances out that that give and take? Like speaking from my like brand side, yeah. if I could give any tips when brands reach out to you give your rates and you stick to your rates but also to ask the brand what their budget is because oftentimes we have flexibility to meet your rate but if we don't know what you are worth if you're not telling us no, no, sir. we can't like meet that sometimes a lot especially smaller uh, content creators you undervalue yourself mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. if we think just looking at your engagement we're like okay this person's worth to an hour point of view 5k and you say oh two hundred dollars like that hurts my soul. And oftentimes, like if I see that conversation start to happen, I'll say, oh, here's our budget. Mm -hmm. So that we can meet, like especially me being women, women of color, also right. a content creator as well. Afternoon. How y'all doing? So my name is Josh, and this is Robo and Sincere Fair. We did the food and beverages for you all today. Hi ladies, my name is Kaylin. Um, I work with a lot of you all and plan to work with a lot more. I'm Kayla, <laughs> I smell half of y'all. Um, okay. Well, a lot of y'all know me from different things, but I am the social coordinator for Shaperment. So. And to tell you ladies a little bit about the brand. So Shaperment is about four years old, but they brought me in about a year and a half ago to help with the rebranding. And our overall mission is to encourage our community to celebrate their shape and wear confidence. In fact, those with good knees I'm can just give them a little bit of a squat. Yeah. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Let me get a silly one. Laugh. Hands up. There we go. Good. Okay. Hi, everybody. I'm Asia. Be Sincerely Asia on Instagram. And I'm also starting this business baby with my best friend. Um, I'm super excited that you guys all, you know, were able to come out here and um, create this space with us. It's just so often that I've been in rooms alone and I've looked around and not seen a lot of people who look like me. And then I, me and Kay got so close and I've always looked to her to make sure that she was in my corner in those spaces and we were like, oh, it should be more of us. Thank you so much for going on this journey with me. I just love you so oh much. Oh my God. Trying to keep it together. <laughs> it's just like, you know, you know, you gotta let them use you, right? That's right. And it's just like, so many times you see girls like us who is like a sprinkle, but they don't put a lot of people on, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's like, my goal is to use me to like help other women of color. So like if I'm hosting this event, this is event is to be a safe space for us to discuss all things content creation, okay? Because we always get the in the stick, like I said earlier. The goal is y'all, ultimately, Melanin Mapped, they need to be paid to go somewhere overseas, it doesn't matter how to be overseas, but ultimately overseas, overseas to country. do a brand campaign for any brand, get paid for, we spend like one, two days doing brand camp, you know, stuff, and the rest oh, of it having fun. Period. That's the goal. Let's be Amen. Amen. This shit was all I knew, hey. you and me only, hey. I did it all for you, hey. still you Guess things change. It's funny how someone else's success brings pain when you're no longer involved. That person has it all, and you just stop standing there. But I'm gonna need you to say something, baby. Say yeah. something, baby. Say something, baby. Say something. I'm gonna need you to say something, baby. Say something, baby. Say something. Say something. I'm gonna need you to say something, baby. Say something. All right guys, so I'm back home now. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update before I go ahead and start getting ready. Kate and Asia's event was absolutely out of this world. It exceeded my expectations. Like I didn't know that they were gonna have that big of a venue. Um, there was like 30 or so girls and there were like different stations and brands that you could visit and we got goodie bags and treats from all of them. I can't wait to open those at the end of the night. Everyone, please go and check out Melanin Mapped, the Melanin Mapped on Instagram and follow them for more content. Like this is them just getting started. Like they just brought so many of us together. I'm sure everyone 
there learn something and it was really nice connecting with other black women and influencers um, so now that that event is over i can finally talk about like the main reason for me vlogging today tomorrow is my birthday may 12th i am turning 25 years old and because i'm turning 25 i just decided to throw myself an actual birthday party because i've never done that before i only just had like my first like birthday dinner where like a lot of people came last year and i decided to get to go with an event planner just to take the stress off my back um, i rented out a venue a chef catering the food a bartender dj um a photo booth i got hookah i don't smoke hookah but a lot of my friends here do and um just little stuff like that i got someone to film it so i'm really really excited i'm kind of a little bit nervous um actually kind of a lot of bit nervous but it's kind of going away after kate's event like i just felt like they were very natural and relaxed so i don't need to stress and these are all my friends and i just want everyone to have a good time basically like because i don't want to be a bad host i want us to turn up i can't get too turned up because i'm going to mexico in the morning we have a flight but um this morning i was saying how nervous i was i've been saying that for the past couple days and i saw a ladybug next to the door in my living room and i don't really get bugs like that especially because i'm on the Oh, I'm not gonna say what floor I'm on, but especially because I'm not like on the ground level. At first, when I'm like, that's a ladybug, that's good luck. So, I don't know if that was God telling me that everything's gonna be okay, but then some bad news just happened. Two people canceled, <laughs> two people canceled for my party, which normally wouldn't be an issue if this was just like a party party. Like, I invited like 50 people, can you make it? This was like a, a her person party. So, when I literally tell you guys, everything had to be accounted for by person because you have to buy those things so for instance the table is a party of 20 so i had to buy 20 chairs the chairs that i picked were 60 dollars y'all like this was not cheap at all it was not cheap i spent a lot of money on it so it was just one of the reasons why i kind of feel a little bit more pressure for everyone to have fun and enjoy themselves like i'm not making people pay to come to my party or anything because like they're my guests <laughs> and a lot of my friends were saying that's why i would never throw one of those parties because it's like when someone doesn't show up you basically wasted your money when there's someone missing at an intimate dinner party there's going to be an empty chair empty play setting that's just not fun to think about like oh there's 200 dollars of my money missing when someone doesn't show up so that's the only thing with that but i'm still gonna have a good time my camera's about to die but hopefully i can say this real quick my best friend is here ice two is here she flew in early this morning i picked michael up from the airport this morning and while i was gone at the brunch event and getting my hair done she literally has helped me clean some of my place like she got the bathroom all together guys she cooked a whole meal she literally cooked ground beef and spaghetti and i'm like girl where did you get the groceries she instacarted them and that was all literally in the span of like four hours she helped me steam my birthday dress um she's in the shower right now so you guys will probably see her later when we're both getting ready you should tell them how how you're late why are you about to laugh don't laugh it's because the way that it feels, it just feels like it's getting messy. This is like the most precise eyeliner it? ever. Nyx. Oh, wow. I have an Elta and Amazon. Wait, I got. is it the marker one or is it one? It's like the marker one. I never run Oh, out. that was cute. Well, I doubted her skills. I feel yeah. like I always look she, so light. She thought camera. that wearing lashes that are thin is just going to look thin on your face. All you got to do is add eyeliner and then you have volume. Boom, just like that. I'm going to have to on my Instagram. Hi guys, so we are in the car right now. I see who's in the back. <laughs> we are running a little bit late. A little bit? Okay, well, my, my entrance is supposed to be at 8.30. It's now 8.45. Um, we gotta take pictures. Yeah, I'm just going to take a few. We're going straight over. Yeah, straight. I'm going to take a few quick pictures real quick at this apartment complex near mine. So I see two will take some video of my dress while I'm taking pictures, but basically the theme of my birthday party is a fairy tale, and I'm the princess, so. I don't have too much time to talk, but I just want to update you guys because I was supposed to, but then I was late, and then yeah. No, you can't wait to shut it down. Won't you show me how you work it? In love. The way 
that you move Wanna connect with you like Bluetooth No touching, that's my boo boo The lighting here is perfect
completely serious. And I was completely ready to die single unless God tapped me on the shoulder and said, yeah.
bottles, take our booties to the flow. Living for today, like for today, like, 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 like. We are the whole world. The two are on my whole so much for coming. I already said it already. Thank you so much to Jessica and her team, Events at Sparkle. They were the ones who put this entire event together. You're gonna see more footage on Instagram, more footage on YouTube. But I just wanna say thank you so much to everyone who came out. But we're gonna exit. Everyone take care to go food. And if you guys are trying to get back to my She said you can get out. But thank you so much to everyone for coming out. I really appreciate you guys. Everyone, thank you so much. Happy 25th birthday to me. Living an illusion, all the lies and the heights Got me up in the night with my pipe How the truth is so clear, but we choose to be blind Choose to be blind like we Put a fold to our eyes and we Live in life and rewind and see Take a break, face reality This life is like a mirror, the wise can see Um, money come, money go Never stay still, money like a merry go Step into the club, pop bottles, take our booties to the flow Living for today like, like for today like Money come, money go Never stay still, money like a merry go Take our booties to the flow Living for today like For today like, like, like. We on the hold up You two be rum out Ooh, and hold up We make the money We on the hold up You two be rum out To all those that want us to think or know that they have, calm down. We have seen you. Hi guys, so I am sorry for the glare right now because of my glasses, but I just wanted to come and talk to you guys for a little bit and show you guys some of my birthday gifts. I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who came out to celebrate with me at my birthday party. I had such an amazing time with everyone. I think each and every one of you. My dinner party was absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much to Jessica Events That Sparkle and her team for making my vision come to life. I got to take my welcome sign home with me. Everything that they drew up in the mock-up looked the same in real life. My flower bouquets were stunning. I got to take some of those home with me as well. I was speaking to you guys like a week and a couple days later after my birthday. Yeah, I went to Mexico right after. So if you're interested in seeing my Mexico vlog, make sure you stay tuned. But yeah, she did such an amazing job. You guys saw the pictures. Um, CJ the photographer and um, Jefferson the photographer did such an amazing job. CJ is the one who shot all the 4K footage that you guys just saw from my party. So definitely hit him up if you are looking for an event photographer. Make sure to hit up Wear the Proof as well if you want some individual shots. I, I'm glad that I threw a, myself a dinner party and can say that I did it once. And I wanna say a big thank you to my subscribers, my supporters, um, everyone that's who's ever supported me because you guys allowed me to even be able to have the funds to do something like that for myself and you guys always support me i always talk to you guys literally every single day there's not a single day that i don't um talk to one of you guys yeah so if you want to be more interactive with me definitely follow me on instagram but i love you guys so much so thank you so much for that so now i want to open some of my birthday gifts i don't want to talk too long because y'all know i love to talk a lot i have four birthday gifts so these are 
the bags and I know you see three here and you're wondering what's the fourth one. Elia actually sent me some funds to get something nice for myself and I appreciate that so much because she is a new friend and you know like it's hard to shop for your new friends and she didn't even have to get me anything. She hasn't known me that long. <laughs> I don't know what I'll be getting for myself but thank you to her for giving me that option because she did not have to do that at all. No one had to get me a gift, but I'm especially thankful for the people that did because I'm all about like cards and stuff. Like even if I don't get gifts, I love cards. But this bag right here is from my best friend, Isa Too. I know you guys haven't seen her in a vlog. You guys have been asking for her to be in one of my videos, but she does not live in the same state as me anymore. We okay, so it comes with a card. I love cards. And then she got me my first Telfar, I hope I'm saying that right, my first Telfar bag. And it's this hot pink, maybe like a hot pink fuchsia color because it's not like neon pink. And it's so cute and it's a mini and I cannot wait to style this because I haven't had one of these so I definitely need to look up some Pinterest inspo. This is my first one and it comes with a little duster bag as well. This gift is from Mary. Um, she got me a card as well. Oh, it's, it feels it feels nice to open gifts. It makes you, it does like, I know people say gifts are not important but gifts sometimes do make you feel a bit loved. Um, but Michael always tells me not to worry. Last year it was kind of hard because it was a bunch of like my new friends as well. And um, Oscar Lean was the one who got me a gift because obviously she was my cousin, she knows me. But um, it does, don't let anyone tell you, like, and there, it can go both ways. People can get you gifts and not, but like, you shouldn't be mad at anyone for not getting you gifts. But it definitely does feel good if you get gifts. <laughs> Mary's card says, Our friendship is like a good long conversation, sometimes funny, sometimes dramatic, but always supportive and satisfying. That's so true. For this is what it says. So there is a little lotion so a perfume lotion oh the scent is i want you and there's a perfume bottle there's a child size perfume and then a little like coin purse as well so this is the coin purse it has some really sweet notes in it oh my god i love perfumes like this i cannot wait to wear this this can be a day or night scent like it's not just night oh my god i cannot wait to wear this such a cute gift set i'm definitely taking this i'm about to travel again i'm about to I'm about to take this with me all the time. Like literally, I love this. <laughs> Alma literally hasn't known me for that long either, but she got me a gift too. And she had some tissue paper and stuff in it, but I think I already took that out. <laughs> so she got me the Tom Ford Soleil Blank Shimmering Body Oil. And this is literally so perfect because as you guys know, summer is coming up. This box is literally so cute. This is so pretty. I'm trying to shake it up for you guys so you guys can see the shimmer. I don't know if you can. So beautiful. She gave me a gift receipt in case I want to return it, but I'm definitely not doing that. Um, because this is going to be the perfect thing to layer your scents. Because I've heard that if you put on like Vaseline or an oil and then spray perfume, it can make your perfume last longer. And this is going to look so cute in my perfume collection. I'm showing it to you guys again, even though I already did. So that is it for my birthday gifts. Michael actually got me something as well, but if you want to see that, you have to stay tuned for the Mexico vlog because that's when I got it. Um, I'm, I'm even just like speechless thinking about it because I never thought I would get that gift. So if you're interested to see what my boyfriend got me, make sure you stay tuned for that. But yeah, I have to end this video here. If the camera is dying, rightly so, because I've talked you guys head off. Thank you so much for watching this video. I am 25 years old. Oh my gosh, I've like um that halfway to 30 mark what can i do differently now rent a car uh, but thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you subscribe we did not make it to my goal of 250k subscribers or 100k followers by my birthday but that's mainly my fault because i didn't get a chance to verbally say it and verbally announce it on my instagram so how would you guys know i was trying so i'm gonna do better next time but we're gonna get to 250k soon especially I am about to be traveling all over the place this summer. It's about to be crazy. It's about to be epic. I can't wait to announce where I'm going. That special trip that I told you guys on my Instagram. I don't even tell you guys it was a trip. I think I said, I can't believe the email I got. <laughs> you heard it here first, but your girl is going somewhere. Thank you guys so much for always watching and supporting me. Um, happy birthday to you too if you're a tourist. And make sure you subscribe, follow me on my Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, Twitter, all of my freaking socials. I love you guys so much. I said that already and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Fuck up the whip, what the fuck up range? Me and them niggas in the same Tap on, make it rain, make it rain I might lose my face, but I gotta keep the cool Cause they know my face
I hold a big boy name, but it's this She lacking on the bomb, the age Been a long time, been a minute And when you go down, give me a lick